all about, Shorty? I was skipping through the office, Toby, skipping through the woods, all alone by myself. You were skipping along through the woods, yeah. I wasn't bothering anybody, wasn't looking for any trouble, just skipping along, skipping it for luck. Just skipping along, minding your own business, yeah, go on. I'm going to be terrible looking along, bang, and shot. Suddenly, a big snarling beast jumped out at you from behind the tree, and then... My heart pounded! My legs trembled! I was frozen with fear! You was terrified? Yeah? Yeah? I knew that he caught me, he hit me up, and I ran and ran and ran! And you ran for your very life! Hmm, sounds like that snake and Pete Puma. And there he is now. I'd know that grimy paw anyways. I'm going up and give that joker a wake-out. No! Don't go up there! He's ferocious and bigger than you are! You'll tell you all the pieces! And all of a sudden, just as I was catching the big old oak tree, you know, the one down by the swamp. Nah, I ain't afraid of him. As long as I can keep the big phony in front of me. And I ain't gonna turn my back on him. <laughs> What's up, Doc? I got a little rabbit in this hole, and I'm gonna catch the little rabbit and eat him up. A little rabbit? Wouldn't you rather have a big rabbit? Yeah. Well, here I am. Take me. Take mm -hmm. your dirty mitts off of me. What do you think you're doing? Well, you told me to, you told me to, you told me to. How about having a cigar? Gee, thanks. Hmm, nice. Well, I think I'll have to be going now. Oh, no, you can't leave yet. You gotta have a nice cup of tea with me. Here we are. There's nothing as sociable as a nice cup of tea. Uh, I always say. Uh, how many lumps do you want? Oh, three or four. Oh, dear, I gave you one too many. Well, we can fix that. There, and here's a cigar for you. I thought I'd better see you home, Shorty, on account of I don't trust that sneaking puma no further than I could throw the big mo. <laughs> Darling, come to your mama. I'm Mrs. Rabbit, the little fellow's mother, and I've been so worried about him. Aunt Junior, it ain't polite to talk back to your mother. Come on home with mother, darling. Mother's going to have a wonderful dinner. Oh, no, don't go yet, Mrs. Rabbit. You must have a cup of tea with me first. But I don't think... Oh, it's no trouble at all, Mrs. Rabbit. Here we are. Tea's on. But I don't want no tea. It gives me a headache. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, what shall we have, then? Coffee. Okay, we'll have coffee. Yeah, how many lumps do you want? Oh, three or four. <laughs> you like that, huh? You think it's fun out smarting Pete Puma? Oh boy, I sure do! I hope he comes back home and gives some more to him! Can I do it too? Yes, I can! Oh, you wanna get into the act, huh? You want us to pull a fast one on Pete. Well, okay, Shorty. Now this is what we'll do. You hop down the old mill road, and then you're gonna... Second cousin 
and Paul Puma. I just dropped by for a little social call, cuz. Say, mighty tender looking little rabbit squab you got there. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's start the fire and frigazee them. You start the kindling and I'll get the coal. Uh, by the way, how many lumps do you want? Oh, better give me a lot of lumps. A whole lot of lumps. Oh, no, you don't. I'll help myself. Come on, Shorty. We better get out of here. He's much too smart for us. Mm -hmm. 